Welcome to our journey of discovering patterns in numbers. Today, we will explore some amazing ways to visualize the relationship among the number sequences which we have learnt in the previous video. Let's dive in and see the beauty of math unfold before our eyes. Let's explore the patterns while adding odd and even numbers, which we have already discussed in the previous video. When we add two odd numbers together, like three and five, the sum is an even number, eight. Why does this happen? It's because an odd number always has one leftover dot, and when we add two odd numbers, these two leftover dots combine to make another pair, resulting in an even total. When we add an odd number and an even number, like three and four, the result is an odd number, seven. This happens because the even number already makes perfect pairs, and the odd number adds one extra dot that doesn't have a pair, so the total remains odd. Finally, when we add two even numbers like four and six, we always get an even number, 10. This is because both even numbers are already perfectly paired, so when you add them together, they still form complete pairs, resulting in an even sum. So remember, Adding two odd numbers gives an even result because the leftover parts pair up. Adding an odd and an even number gives an odd result because there is always one extra dot. And adding two even numbers gives an even result because all dots are perfectly paired. Let's start with a fun question. What happens when we add up odd numbers? Let's see, one equals one. If we add three to one, we get four and that's a square number. Then one plus three plus five gives us nine, another square number. Similarly, one plus three plus five plus seven gives us 16, which is another square number and so on. This keeps happening and it's such a beautiful pattern. But why does this happen and will it continue forever? Let's find out by using pictures. Because this works for any size of the square, we can see why adding odd numbers always gives us square numbers. Can you figure out the sum of the first 10 odd numbers? Yes, the sum of first 10 odd numbers is 100. Can you see some pattern emerging? Sum of first one odd number is one. Sum of first two odd numbers is four. Sum of first three odd numbers is nine. Sum of first four odd numbers is 16 and so on. Finally, we have seen that the sum of first 10 odd numbers is 100. Can you generalize this pattern for first n odd numbers? Yes, it is n square. The sum of first n odd numbers is always n square. When we add up counting numbers like one, one plus two, one plus two plus three, we can imagine it as a growing triangle. Each new row adds more dots to form a bigger triangle. For example, one plus two equals three. One plus two plus three equals six. One plus two plus three plus four equals 10. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 equals 15, and so on. Here's another cool pattern. We can also create square numbers by adding numbers up and down, like 1, 2, 3, and then back down to 1. For example, 1 plus 2 plus 1 equals 4, which is 2 square. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals 9, which is 3 square. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals 16, which is 4 square. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 equals 25, which is 5 square. This pattern continues. When we count the numbers up and down, the sums are 1, 4, 9, 16, and these are square numbers too. When we add counting numbers up and then down, we create a pyramid shape. Each layer of dots represents a number in the sequence. The pyramid forms a square shape, explaining why this sum gives us a square number. If we continue this pattern up to 100 and back down, we form a giant pyramid. The base of the pyramid has 100 dots, and we know that this pattern will always create a square number. When we add any pair of triangular numbers like 1 plus 3, 3 plus 6, 6 plus 10, and so on, they fit together to make square numbers. For example, 1 plus 3 equals 4, which is 2 square. 3 plus 6 equals 9, which is 3 square. 6 plus 10 equals 16, which is 4 square, and so on. Let's explore centered hexagonal numbers. These numbers are a special type of hexagonal numbers with a dot right in the center. 
Imagine starting with one dot in the middle, then six dots are added around it, making seven dots total. To find the next centered hexagonal number, we add another ring of dots around the hexagon, giving us 19 dots. Is it possible to create hexagonal numbers from triangular numbers? Let's explore it. When we multiply triangular numbers by six and add one, we form a hexagonal number. It's like fitting triangles together to make a hexagon. For example, here we multiply the triangular number six by six and then add one. This will give us 37, which is an hexagonal number. Did you know that when you add centered hexagonal numbers, you get cube numbers? Let's see how that works. The first few centered hexagonal numbers are 1, 7, 19, 37, and so on. When we add these hexagonal numbers together, something surprising happens. They add up to cube numbers. For example, if we take the first hexagonal number, which is 1, and then add the next one, 7, we get 1 plus 7 equals 8, which is 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 cubed. If we keep going, adding 19 to 8 gives us 27, which is 3 times 3 times 3, or 3 cubed. Adding the next hexagonal number, 37, to 27 gives us 64, which is 4 times 4 times 4, or 4 cubed. When we add powers of two numbers, like 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 plus 4, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, and so on, and then we add a 1 to the sum, we create numbers like 4, 8, 16, and so on. It is amazing to see that these are the next power of 2 number. Now it's your turn. Look for patterns among different sequences. Use pictures or diagrams to find new ways numbers connect and relate to each other. Remember, math is so much fun when we look for patterns. Try finding other sequences and visualize them. Share what you discover with your friends and family. Who knows, you might uncover a brand new pattern. Thank you for watching. Keep exploring the wonderful world of numbers. Stay curious, keep learning, and most importantly, have fun with math. See you next time.